Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. We are in the middle of chapter five. Um, we left off with the farmer telling Roz how things were difficult since the passing of his wife and how he needed help. But before I start reading again, I want to say thank you to Little Brown and Company Publishing for allowing me to share this along with Peter Brown, the author. The silence was finally broken by a low rumble of thunder. A storm was approaching. Tornado season was still months away. But farm country, but in farm country, any storm could become dangerous. Let's go, said Mr. Sharif. Rambler started its, started its engine and drove back up the long driveway. By the time they reached the farm buildings, a steady rain was falling and the cows were in the barn. This is for you, said Mr. Sharif, and he handed Roz her own computer. That controls the farm equipment, and it's got all the information you'll need to work here. Do you know how to use a computer? Yes, I know how to use a computer. Roz had never used a computer before, but she instinctively knew what to do. Clearly the robot was designed to work with technology. Study up tonight and start farming tomorrow, said Mr. Sharif. You can stay in the machine shed with the other machines. Perhaps I should stay in the barn with the cows, said Roz. My whole world now revolves around them. The man smirked and he said, I like the way you think, Roz. Chapter six, the monster. When I heard the monster, boys and girls, it made me think of the Ricos. The cows were munching hay in their stalls when the big barn door slid open and a mechanical monster stomped in from the rain. The creature marched down the center aisle her footsteps echoing through the cavernous space until she found an empty corner. And there she stood in the shadows as a storm began to rage outside. Everybody listened as the rain poured and the wind howled and the thunder cracked. By midnight, the storm had blown over and there was only a gentle sprinkling on the roof, but the herd couldn't rest with the monster lurking in the corner. Cows began quietly mooing to each other. What is the monster doing? She hasn't moved in hours. I bet she's waiting to eat us in our sleep. The cows gasped at this horrible thought. And then an old cow named Annabelle tried to calm down the herd. Relax, everyone, she said. There were monsters like this at my last farm, and they never ate any cows. Come to think of it, they never ate anything at all. If the monster has never eaten at anything at all, she must be awfully hungry by now, said a cow named Tess. I saw the farmer driving the monster around in his truck, said a calf named Lily. I don't think he would have done that if she were dangerous. Nobody knew quite what to think of the strange creature in the midst. I think the monster is harmless. I think the monster is unnatural. I think the monster is moving. The herd fell silent as the monster marched out from the shadows and into the middle of the barn. And then the monster did the impossible. She did the unthinkable. She spoke to the cows in the language of the animals. I'm not a monster. I'm a robot. My name is Roz. Boys and girls, I want you to think about that. She spoke to the cows in the language of the animals. I bet they sure were surprised, and we all know how that came to happen. Awesome. All right, I'm going to have a little bit of time to begin Chapter 7. Here's the robot's story. None of the cows could believe that this monster, this robot, this machine had just spoken to them in the animal language. They stared at her nervously, shifting in their stalls, wondering what she would do next. What Roz did next was simple. She told the truth. She stood in the middle of the barn and shared her story with the herd. I spent my first year of life on a remote wild island, Roz began. I did not know how I got there. I only knew that I wanted to survive. So I studied the island animals to see how they survived. And a surprising thing happened. Their sounds and movements started making sense to me. I was learning the language of the animals. I'd love to hear from you about what your favorite part of the whole first um, seven chapters is so far. Thank you. Talk to you later.